We're going to go into a little dive into my dating life as a single mother of two boys. This person that I went out with is a pretty large shit talker for being from Miami and being male. And really, I had a work day all day. I was shooting for this commercial. He was like, oh, I want to see you come hang out. And mind you, I was like, I didn't want to. But then I was like, fine, let me just do it. Because I knew I was going to have the boys for several days and I wasn't going to be able to do anything. So I was like, fine, like, I'll just go watching a basketball game on TV and then he's like I'm hungry I'm hungry I'm hungry and I'm like okay like I'm at your house like take something out and eat or order something to eat like I was there like dude if you're hungry like go ahead and eat <laughs> at this point it's like it's midnight and he's still like I'm hungry let's go to a food truck there's a food truck around here okay perfect this is where it gets good so he wanted to drive my new car so we jumped in my car and went to the food truck when we got there, he placed an order where they're standing by the pain imagery where you put your your card. Before I say anything else, let me just say, this man had a trip planned a couple days later. So, I mean, he obviously works and he has money. So, <laughs> anyway, so I'm, I'm, we're standing by the machine and tell me how he walks away. He literally walks backward and he walks away from the machine and leaves me there by myself to pay for it. Like, I wasn't the one that was even hungry. Like, it's not like I was one, I'm starving, I'm starving, I'm starving. Okay, it's so... But, like, he's expecting me to f pay for his food. Mind you, after I drove to his house, after we drove in my car, and we're going to get food that you wanted. Like, no shame at all. gentlemen welcome back to another video women really do hate it when they are treated like men when they have to pay for the dates when they have to pay for the meals or when they have to put up with everything that men go through on a daily basis especially men nowadays have to be traditional but modern women do not meet them halfway modern women want to be independent but at the same time be treated like a traditional and respectable woman but with that being said, let's jump into our first woman right here, single mother, and let's see what she has to say. I just got out of a six year relationship and yesterday my oldest son, who was only five when we started dating, got in trouble with his phone at school. They told him, I'm going to tell your mom and dad. And his response was, well, I don't have a dad. A little backstory, my son's biological dad passed away when he was five and I had just started dating my now ex-boyfriend. Hmm, I had just started dating right after the biological father passed away. I, I had just started dating. Interesting. His dad passed away after we were only dating for six months. So and now we just hit almost six years when we decided to break up. All right, let's just pause it for a minute. So as far as I understand, this woman divorced her, you know, the biological father started dating another man. And six months after that, uh, the biological father passed away. Now, I don't think this is a coincidence. Many men, after divorce, they just, they either get really overweight uh, due to the bad experience, or they, they, have, they start having drinking problems, uh, they get into depressions, they lose their jobs, they screw up their careers, uh, and they get in a really bad mental state. So, I'm really sad for this man. Uh, that divorce is probably the reason why he passed away, or at least divorce helped in a big way. It's really sad how men in society, usually when you ask men what happened after divorce, they will tell you one of the worst periods of their life, while women after divorce, uh, you know, they, they feel like they got better. They go out dating, they go out to clubs, they start hooking up in a lot of cases, they find uh, another partner right away, uh, in many cases, they had another partner as a plan B uh, along the way. You know, the, it was the side dish. Man, this is incredibly disgusting how modern women have so many options. And not only that, but they also get a full package of benefits from the government. So uh, divorce doesn't affect them in the slightest. And probably the most s sad and tragic of all the reasons uh, for women to have it better is that they never cared at all you know they they never were invested in the marriage and they never cared in the slightest about the man this is for me the saddest part 
So I really want to get this message out to anyone who does date single parents or wants to date a single parent or you are a single parent that your relationships are going to directly affect your kids. Now, I did my due diligence when we started dating. He was very good with my son, and then we had a kid of our own, and I don't know, something changed, but their bond just was not like getting to where it should be for being together this long. And I ultimately decided to end the relationship for my son's sake. And frankly, he wanted to end the relationship as well. And now I just feel terrible that this was like his second dad, dad figure, and he's just up and left. He won't even talk to him or do anything with him. So it's just me and him now again, which I know is for the best because I'd rather it just be us than have like a fake relationship or to be living like you're living, walking on eggshells. So yeah, if you do decide to date a single parent, just know that you're also choosing to date their child. When you choose to commit to that parent, you're also committing to be there for the child. And kids are the innocent one in all of this, so it's just like super not fair to them. I did the best I could to make this relationship work, but ultimately I knew that it wasn't going to work because it just he wasn't getting to where I wanted him to be. So now we're co-parenting our four-year-old together, but my um, oldest son I have full-time, and I'm just trying to help him in this situation. He overall seems like he's in good spirits. I keep checking on his emotions and he seems fine, but he's also good at hiding his feelings, I think, and it comes out in other ways. So I'm just going to keep an eye on that. Definitely going to look for like a therapist, but I just thought I needed to get this message out in the TikTok world. And Yeah, it was really important for you to share this on TikTok. Anyway, gentlemen, um, so this woman divorced her man, the biological father, got six months later presumably into another relationship where she thought that the grass was greener but the man didn't care much i think uh but she wanted no notice how she said i really wanted to make this uh, second relationship work not the first one of course not the one with the biological father because women oftentimes feel like they're missing out when they're in a marriage like a lot of women who are married at 22 uh, they feel like they're missing out because they haven't you know read the carousel uh, they haven't met other men. They start comparing their, their current husband with other men. They think that they can get something better. So she tried to make the second relationship work. Still didn't work. The, the eldest son got two uh, fathers out of the picture. And now he's having problems in society. What a surprise. But guys, we'll close out the video with this article. So it's a woman saying, How I hacked Tinder and dated 15 men in 21 days. And this is the individual right here. With the Tinder swindler, a blockbuster success on Netflix, many women are wary of matching with a man online. But an, one Australian woman says Tinder is the perfect place to meet Mr. Right. Oh, is it? And is revealing the simple hacks she uses to maximize chances of success on the app. It's always funny to me how women will come up with this, cracking the code. Uh, <laughs> You know, life hacks for dating up, as if having a kitty between your legs doesn't grant you full access to 90% of men, you know? Like, being a woman on a dating app is not easy as of itself, that you actually need to, you know, track the algorithm and make up schemes to, in order to be able to have a bigger pool. Interesting. Helen Chick, who hails from Sydney, says dating is simply a numbers game and boasts that she had Tinder dates with 15 different men during a recent three-week trip to New York. So, 15 men in three weeks. <laughs> what is that? Like, five men a week? Almost a man every day. She, she probably rests on Saturday and Sunday, you know, like a, like a work schedule. Disgusting. The, who, who is the man that is okay with dating a woman who dates so many men? I mean, he probably doesn't even know, but... To any man who knows about this, huge red flag. The serial data who has penned the book, S3X, Swipes and Other Stories, well, I, I can't wait to get my hands on that book, divulged how she managed to meet so many men in such a short period of time during an interview on the podcast Kinda Sorta Dating. Yeah, this is what many women are doing nowadays, Kinda Sorta Dating. Chick declared that everything comes down to time and urged Tinder users not to procrastinate while on the app. And then we have her once again. Time is the one thing you can't get back. 
So that's why I'm very big on time and efficient. He stated. So this woman really trying to milk as much time as possible, trying to fit everything perfectly in order to be able to become the biggest 304 the world has ever seen. Just really have to work and grind and struggle in order to become undating material as fast as possible. Chick says time is of the essence and is warning Tinder users not to waste time procrastinating the small talk uh, prior to meet in person. And then we have her again holding a banana with all the red flags, uh, her hands looking like a mosaic. I hope the YouTube doesn't ban this video just for that one image. Knowing that she was coming to the Big Apple, Chick changed her location settings to New York City before she had even left Sydney. She said it is important to get small talk out of the way quickly so that you can meet up in person as soon as possible. Change your location prior to arriving in the city, so you're basically matching people in a city you're not actually physically in, but you can do all the tedious small talk banter vibe checks before you arrive, she advised. The thing I don't understand is if this woman is looking for Mr. Right, why does she call small talk tedious and banter? You know, isn't that the, the whole first steps of getting to know someone? Or are you trying to jump in bed? Is that how you think relationships should start? So is she looking for Mr. Right or is she looking to be the biggest female dog to ever exist? For those who are hoping to date locally, Chick further di d divulged her hack for cutting down on small talk. The savvy swiper said she divides uh, conversation into two categories, need to know and nice to know. All right. Really whimsical photos of this woman really living her best life out there. This is the woman that in five years will be on TikTok saying, where have all the good men gone? The latter consists of light-hearted, trivial topics, while the former is focused on determining a person's morals, goals, and values. Yeah, right. Chick, uh, Chick claims conversation should be focused on the need-to-know category, so as to quickly figure out whether two people are compatible prior to putting energy into a date. For instance, Chick is twice divorced. <laughs> and she says that... <laughs> Sorry, guys. And she says that fact is a part of the need-to-know category. She always shares that personal information before an in-person meetup. And what is she? Uh, is, she is she even 30? This woman divorced two times already? Damn, man. People have different stances on this sort of stuff. Some people are very traditional. Some are much more open-minded. But at the end of the day, you should give them the chance to decide, she stated. Very keen there. She hasn't divulged whether she met the man of her dreams in New York City. <laughs> the man of her dreams. But believes her handy hacks are sure to help, <laughs> are sure to help other singletons save time and be swept off their feet in the process. So, guys, do you think uh, that this woman met her Prince Charming in New York? where she dated 15 men in 21 days. This is disgusting, man. A woman like this, even ha having to say the words Mr. Right, y you don't even deserve to say the words Mr. Right. That's how far you are to actually meeting one. But guys, before we close, uh, I just want to mention, I, I showed this article to Taylor, right? And I told her, hey, man, she's from Sydney. <laughs> you can be one of the 15 men she's dating. And, well, he said that he, he'd be much happier and alive. He said that uh, in a more artistical way. So a lot more details to that. Uh, but I can't say them on YouTube. Guys, these women, man, such big red flags. They don't even deserve the time of men. They don't even deserve five minutes. But what are your thoughts on the whole video, gentlemen? Leave me your comments below. And I'll be happy to see you next time. Have a good one.